Hi, I'm Tamara from Oak Living, and today I'm going to show you how to press flowers using our flower pressing kits. You'll need a pair of scissors, a flower pressing kit, and some freshly picked flowers. So the number one step with pressing flowers is to make sure that they're not wet when you press them. Um, any wetness will cause mold. So you'll start off by opening up your press. And inside each press is a set of instructions. So if you ever forget, they're there for you. And there's three levels that you can fill up. So in between each level of paper, there is a layer of cardboard to keep the flowers from sagging in on top of each other. So we'll go to the bottom layer and start picking your flowers. I like to place my flowers head down first and then snip off the stems. And you can play around with how the flowers sit on the press. So you can place them head down or you can place them kind of laying down like this. And they'll press differently. Okay, so now that that layer is full, we'll squish it all down with paper and then another layer of cardboard. And then we will repeat this step for two more levels. And squish them down. And don't be afraid to use bigger flowers like this because they'll just squish down the form. It's fun to get different textures in there as well. Squish it, put the instructions back in. Then you use the top to really press down. Don't be afraid of any sounds you may hear. And then you do up the straps. So the hardest part about pressing flowers is that you have to wait. So you can leave this press done up like this for about two to three weeks. And then when you open it, you'll see the pressed flowers inside. For this video, I actually have one that I did a couple weeks ago, so I'll show you what it looks like. So to open up your press, you're just gonna undo the straps. I find when I'm opening up my press, I like to have tweezers on hand. These help uh, remove any flowers that have stuck to the pages. There's some flat goldenrod. So this guy is stuck, so you just kind of pick it off with the tweezers. And once the pages are removed of flowers, you can reuse these pages again. So even if there's residue on it, it is totally good to reuse. We'll keep opening it.
These guys are really stuck on here. And sometimes they do fall apart. Um, that's just kind of the art of pressing flowers. So this guy's really falling apart, but you can really use the petals as well. Oh yeah. So I'd wipe that off um, if you're going to reuse it again. And that's it. So it's empty and good to go for a second round. Thanks for watching.